Good morning, y'all. I am up editing Vlogmas Day 2. That should have been posted yesterday, but my computer has been giving me the blues. Of course it wants to give me the blues when I really need it to work. I apologize in advance if these vlogs are not up every day, but I'm gonna try and get my computer fixed to make sure that I'm able to get these vlogs posted daily like I promised. But anyways, I need to hurry up and get this done. Um, finish one load of laundry and hop on a flight back to New York because I have a four-day trip starting tomorrow morning. Barely made it to the airport, y'all. And my gate is like so freaking far and the plane is already boarding. And I don't have any energy to move any faster than I'm moving right now. So hopefully there's still space when I get there. <sighs> Last night was so much fun. But now, I'm suffering. One too many drinks. <laughs> to LaGuardia. So, you know, going through, give the, the gate agent my um, boarding pass, and I have my four bags with me. Like, I'll flight through Perry's four bags. And she goes, oh, since you're not working, you can't, you can't have all those bags. And I said to her, I said, oh, I've never had that issue, you know, beforehand. You know, why is it different today? And she proceeds to get a nasty, nasty attitude with me and tells me, you just need to step outside the line and, and check your bags. And I was just like, hmm, okay, just don't get me wrong, y'all. I'm not a crazy passenger or anything like that. I don't mind checking my bags, you know, but don't sit here and tell me that I can't have all four bags on the plane. I have four bags, all four bags on the plane all the time. Just simply say to me, um, the flight is full, we're checking bags at the gate now. You know, like, don't come at me differently. And so I had to step outside myself. I almost had to take my badge off because she was being really rude. And I think y'all are kind of learning more and more as I vlog. Y'all are seeing my personality show a lot more. I don't tolerate like disrespect like that like don't do that I was very pleasant to you very very nice but if that's how you want to act I can act like that too I prefer not to but we can get with it it's not an issue so I had to tell her to watch her tone when she spoke to me because you're not gonna sit here and talk to me any kind of way and, and just get away with it like I wouldn't do that to anyone and I don't want nobody doing it to me I don't care what kind of day you're having and I know gate agents they have a really hard job dealing with 200 plus people how many people are getting on the airplane and i definitely get it but i don't want your attitude right so that happened i checked my two little bags whatever overhead bins are full fine they're full i have nowhere to put my bag you know i can't argue with that don't tell me i can't check i can't bring my bags on board because i can only take two because i'm not working that's not how that works so but i didn't want to be the crazy customer so I politely told her, please check the tone of your voice while you're speaking to me. And she looked at me and I smiled. <laughs> that was that. And I was starving, y'all. Get on the plane, all the way in the back of the airplane, row 29 out of 32 or 33 or something, in a middle seat, stuck between two guys, bigger guys, like buff guys, 
and one of them had the worst cigarette breath like I was gagging the entire flight right so I'm just looking forward to them to come to my row and asking me what I would like to purchase for food I was ready to get me a hamburger get to my row they all sold out, all sold out of food all the food was gone like sometimes your emotions just overtake you like I just started crying like, I don't know if I was just still super frustrated from my old crazy gate agent and then the stinkiness of the person sitting next to me and then she told me they ain't had no food so I couldn't eat <sighs> so, <laughs> oh my gosh y'all uh, oh I see my bags let me let me go get my bags but after all of that and that crying I did. I cried for like five seconds and I was like, Alexa, go get your life together. But I ended up getting up and going to the lavatory and the flight attendant. Um, my Lyft driver is here. The flight attendant in the back, really nice guy. Um, he's like, are you okay? He's like, I, I, you know, I saw you with your head down or whatever. And I was like, oh, yeah, I just had an emotional moment. Um, I'm struggling here. Hold on, guys. The realest struggle of them all. Oh, my God. Going up these four flights of stairs with these damn bags. And I'm tired. Just two more of these and I'm done. It's exhausting today. So I'm back in New York, y'all. But let me finish telling y'all what I was telling you. I got in that um, lift and those drivers in New York stressed me out so I couldn't even like vlog while driving. I just, I needed to pay attention to the road to make sure he wasn't going to kill me. But after all my emotions took over and I did a little cry <laughs> and released it, I ended up going to the lab. I started talking to um, the flight attendant that was back there. And he was so, so nice. He was like, do you need anything? Um, you know, some snacks or whatever. And I was like, oh, I just had a headache, you know, and I just really wanted to eat. So he gave me some, um, some snacks, which is really, really nice of him. And we just st stood back there and talked for like five minutes or so. So it really did just make the flight like a lot better because, you know, like sometimes it really just takes one person, one person with some kindness in them to just be nice and talk and, you know, just be giving, just be kind to like, that's it. So he did that and it really made me feel a lot better. Went back to my seat, put some Christmas music on. Um, and surprisingly, I did not go to sleep on this flight. Usually I go to sleep for at least an hour, but that nasty smell next to me just wasn't, it wasn't helping me. So, but I'm here. Um, you know, I really still don't even know what's going on with my living situation because that crazy man that wants to put some change on the end of this rent has not called me back. So... I haven't signed the lease. I haven't done anything. But what I'm about to do is take my butt to Trader Joe's, do some grocery shopping, meal prep. I start a four-day trip tomorrow at 6 a.m. So I need to get my life ordered. This advent calendar. I don't even remember which one it is. Was it 24? Oh, good. It's only 12 days of beauty. So look forward to this the last 12 days of Christmas. All right, y'all. So I just walked down to the grocery store, picked up a few things. I got some salmon, some salad mix things, some chicken, and um, I already had this in the freezer. It's sweet potato gnocchi. It's really freaking good. I got this from Trader Joe's. Um, and then some butternut squash. I've had this in the freezer as well. I didn't go to Trader Joe's. I just went to a small little mom and pop grocery store down the street because honestly, I'm just really tired and I didn't feel like getting an Uber, going to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's here is always insanely crazy and it's so compact in there. Like you can't comfortably grocery shop. I wasn't in the mood for it. So I was just like, you know what? We just gonna make whatever work. Um, and I really want to take a nap, but that would be a little silly of me to do because it's 4.47 now. I have a 6 a.m. report tomorrow, so 
I don't need a nap because if I take a nap, then I'm not going to go to bed on time. So anyways, let me get my handy dandy e-bags lunch kit. This is the Crew Cooler 2, I think is what it's called. I'm really just going to do a really easy and lazy meal prep. I really don't have to cook anything except for the salmon. Um, I might actually end up eating this tonight. The chicken is already cooked. I'm just going to mix that in with the salads for my lunches. The salmon is going to be for dinner. Oh, and I got yogurts for breakfast. It's a four-day trip, but really... I think I'm be gone all day Monday, all day Tuesday, all day Wednesday, and do I get back Thursday, like in the evening? So I might end up needing some more food than this, but usually even when I do meal prep, I still tend to go out with the crew and get a meal here or there, so this will be more than enough. Got my hot logic. I'm on a, um, A320, so we do have um, plugs on that plane, so the hot logic will be coming. So I kind of need to rinse that out a little bit. These are my little ice packs that I put in my cooler to keep my food cold. All right, y'all, so meal prep is done. Now I need to unpack my bag so I can pack it again for my trip that starts tomorrow morning and I need to take a look at the temperature because I'm going to be in two cold places and one warm place. I'm going to White Plains, New York, and then I'll be in Hartford, Connecticut, and then I'll be in Fort Lauderdale. So pretty sure it's not um, cold in Fort Lauderdale, so I might want to bring something nice and warm. But let me check my handy dandy iPad, see what my schedule exactly looks like and how long my layovers are and things like that to know exactly what I'll be doing. So it says in White Plains it's 49 degrees, in Hartford 55 is the high, and then Fort Lauderdale 82 is the high. Yikes. And back to New York to 42 degree weather. <sighs> I have a 16 hour layover in White Plains. I get there at 1.30. So I'll be able to do some stuff that day. Then Tuesday, I get to Hartford at 1 p.m. and we have a 17 hour layover. I'm definitely going to do stuff then because my cousin lives there, so I'm going to hang out with her, so I'll need clothes for that. <laughs> and then in Fort Lauderdale, oh, I probably won't do anything. Um, that's only an 11 hour layover, and we get there at 5 p.m. Um, I have an aunt that lives there. Actually, I have a lot of family in Fort Lauderdale, but that's a really short layover, and everything is early reports. So, maybe I'll let her come to the hotel, but I'm not going anywhere. So, to me, that sounds like I need about two and a half outfits. Bring my handy dandy, my favorite cardigan. I love this cardigan. I wore it all through training. Um, it's like my lucky charm, I guess you could say. Christmas party last night and I kind of um, finagled her to give it to me. <laughs> so this is a good one like because it, it's flat so it'll be easy for me to pack and it has like these two little separate compartments so I can put everything in there instead of me always carrying my big purse. You know ladies when you have a big purse it, you just feel like you have to overpack it with everything. So I'm going to stop bringing that and I'm just going to downsize to this and then this will be like my layover hand. It's holiday season. We 
can start wearing fun tights under our uniform. So I found these little sparkly ones at home. Hopefully they still fit. We can wear um, holiday tights for the month of December. So maybe I'll try to squeeze into these in the morning with these sparkly. Do y'all see the sparkle? But they're, they're cute. to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to this channel and if you enjoyed this video make sure you